We have quite a few windows around our house, all covered with these wood shutters. Probably they are the same age as this house. Not only they look old and sad, but also some of them need to be repaired. If we replace all of them, the cost of the new windows and labor will be way too much. I do want to stay with my budget. After considering all the facts, I decided to renovate rather than replace all of the windows. I wanted to save and transform them with a beautiful contemporary style trim. So let's get started. The old window sills were inserted into the walls. That made the removal process extremely difficult, but I did it anyway. After cleaning the entire windows, before adding any trim. I caulked around the edges between the windows and the walls to seal out any gaps and leaks. I also did the same thing with the outside windows by using exterior caulk. Because the old window sills were inserted into the walls, so now I have to fill the gaps with the small drywall pieces. Before I installed the plywood, I did apply some liquid nail on the back of the plywood.
Just like many of the older houses, these windows are not in standard sizes. Even these two right next to each other, the window sills are not in same depth and width. The left window is much deeper than the right. For the new window sills, the left window I used a one by eight pan board. I mean, the extra width is eight inch. In most of the stores, one by eight usually means three quarter inch by seven and a half inch, but that's too narrow for my window. And the next size is three quarter inch by nine and a half inch, and that would be too wide. So I did some research and found one local lumber yard. It's a small yard with really nice people there. I bought a couple pieces of one by twelve. Then they used their table saw and cut the exact sizes I needed out of these one by twelves. Doing home improvement by myself, I knew I had saved a whole lot of money. So after each project, I would treat myself for a couple of pieces of better tools to make my future projects better and easier. For this new year, I treated myself a miter saw and a jigsaw. Both were something I wanted for a long time, so this would be the first time for me to use them. And that means, if I can do it, you can too. For the length, I extended out about three and a half inches past the window wall frame on the left side. The right side, I just used the exact measurement. I then measured the depth of the window and transferred it onto the board. Then I used my jigsaw and cut out the L shape out of the wood. To create the two window sill edges, I then put the new window sills in place and make sure they fit and the leveled. It's okay if there is a little bit of a gap between the wood and the wall, as the small gaps will be caulked later. For the right window sill, I used the six-inch board, two inches narrower than the left window sill. To install the window sills, I applied a liquid nail to the back of the boards first. 
then installed them to the window with the nail gun. For the size of the trim, initially I wanted to install 1x4 boards. However, the joint walls between two windows were only 3 inches in width. So to keep things consistent, I decided to use 1x3 boards on each side. I measured the distance between the windowsill and the top of the window and cut two 1x3 pieces to fit. Next, I added a piece of a 1x2 on top of the set trim with a half inch overhand on the left side. And for the right side, I just used the exact measurement. And repeated the same process for the right side window. Then I put a piece of 1x4 on top of 1x2. The length was a half an inch shorter than the 1x2 underneath. And after that, I added another piece of 1x2 on the top. It's the same length as the other piece. The last step for the header, I added a piece of a 1x3 on top of a 1x2 with a half inch overhand. For the base trim, I installed a piece of a 1x4 under the windowsill. Now, everything looks good, except this corner. As the walls are not straight, which is very common for the older houses, on the left side, the windowsill is not deep enough to cover the base trim. It could be hidden by the curtain, but it just bothered me that I had to figure out how to fix this to make it look seamlessly. As I was going to add a French window trim, like I did with the other windows in my last video. I had this one by quarter inch pen trim on hand, so I cut one piece to the length I needed and attached it to the edge of the windowsill. It worked out perfectly. Once all the pieces were installed, 
I used the wood filler to fill the nail holes. Then use the pinnable caulk to seal all of the joints and any gaps between the walls and the trim. Let dry, then sand it everything before painting. I applied one coat of a primer on the raw wood, so it would take paint more evenly, and the, the wood grain and knots wouldn't bleed through. While waiting for a primer to dry, I made a set of a French window trim and I installed them on the window glass. It's the same process as my last video showed. If you haven't seen that video and want to learn how, I'll link that video in the description box below. Just check it out. I was a little struggling with the paint color for the window trim for a while, and then I decided to go with the same paint that I used for the baseboards and the crown molding before. It's a light ashy gray color with a warm undertone. And it turned out just as beautiful as I had imagined.
Windows can really be a great architectural focal point in the room. That's why they are so worth updating. It can increase the value of your home and literally light up your interiors. This super simple DIY window trim project completely elevated the look of the entire room. It makes the windows pop and really frames the view outside and turning the windows into works of art. That's all for today's video. I do want to send out big thanks to all of my new subscribers and the wonderful comments you guys left on my videos. I have read all of your comments and I really truly appreciate everything. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.